Hello everyone. This video lecture series is about the latest outbreak and scenario related to novel coronavirus pandemic. This series consists of many video lectures that includes introduction to coronaviruses, detailed account of novel coronavirus, biology and evolution of novel coronavirus and many more. In this video lecture series, I am going to talk about the novel coronavirus that was discovered in 2019. I want you guys to know that this video that I am making today, all the information that I am going to be talking about is as of up to date as April 15, 2020. In addition, this video lecture series is purely for educational purposes. So stay tuned to my channel for all the updates and let's go ahead and get started. So my first lecture series includes an introduction to coronaviruses including SARS, MERS and the new coronavirus from Wuhan, China. So coronavirus are a family of RNA viruses in order known as nidovirales. Coronaviruses are significant viral pathogens in both human and animals. They can cause significant diseases. Now, what the word coronavirus means? So, the prefix corona actually comes from the Latin word for crown and it's actually due to or named for the crown-like appearance of the virus. So, here is an electron micrograph image of a coronavirus and as you can see, here these are the membrane surface proteins and it looks a bit like a crown. There are four classifications of coronaviruses. They belong to categories alpha, beta, gamma and delta. And human coronaviruses are alpha and beta coronaviruses. So the coronaviruses that we will talk about and we hear about are in the first two classifications that is alpha and beta. Coronaviruses are medium sized RNA viruses that envelop a positive stranded RNA and themselves have a very large viral RNA genome. They have the largest viral RNA genome known so far. So what are the host and reservoirs of this virus? So coronaviruses infect both birds and mammals but bats are host to the largest number of viral genotypes of coronavirus so they act more as host. They don't necessarily become infected with these viruses but become hosts to many number of viral genotypes of the coronavirus. So their immune system is able to suppress a lot of these viruses and they simply act as host but they can transmit these viruses to other birds and mammals. Epidemics from coronaviruses generally occur when viruses are transmitted from one species to another and this is because the viruses can acquire or develop mutations in proteins on their envelope to allow them to bind to cells and infect other cells more easily. This is why we see that when viruses can be transmitted from one species to another, they can acquire mutations and acquire new abilities to infect cells of other species. So this is why it's important or it's significant when a coronavirus gets transmitted from one species to another. So with regards to humans, human coronaviruses are causes of both respiratory and gastrointestinal tract infection. And these human coronaviruses are relatively common cause of illness in human and it's estimated coronavirus account for approximately 5 to 10 percent of all adult upper respiratory tract infections. So they can cause lots of respiratory tract infection anywhere from a common cold to pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS. So there is a wide variety of signs and symptoms that coronaviruses infect humans more often and then there's other ones that cause more significant illness and some coronaviruses can cause gastrointestinal or GI tract infections as of 
now there are 1.8 million cases of Wuhan coronavirus so it's actually surpassed SARS but the fatality rate it is luckily very low. Common symptoms of gastrointestinal tract infection and coronaviruses includes diarrhea and when mutations occur in coronavirus it can be significant cause of human epidemics. And as we mentioned before, a lot of time these mutations can occur when the viruses are transmitted from one species to another or an entirely new virus can be developed through these mutations and we have seen several instances in the recent past where there has been transmission from one species to another leading to a new virus and a new outbreak of coronavirus. So in this slide, I'm going to talk about some of these recent outbreaks of coronaviruses. First, the first one is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome or SARS and this occurred in the year 2002 to 2003. Early reports show it is early 2003 but it was like the occurring even before that in 2002. So it, it seems to have started in Guangdong province of China and it itself is a beta coronavirus and it is said to be in the lineage B of the beta coronavirus. So there are different lineage, lineages of beta coronavirus category and SARS falls in the lineage B. What seems to have occurred is that this particular coronavirus SARS was transmitted from bats to civets to humans. This led to a worldwide outbreak and the outbreak was recorded as early as February 2003. And it seemed to have lasted until July 2003. There were more than 8,000 recorded total cases, 774 deaths with a fatality rate of 9.6%. Another coronavirus outbreak was Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS. MERS outbreak which occurred in 2012. This started in Saudi Arabia and it quickly spread to several countries. It itself is a beta coronavirus as well. And what seems to have occurred here is that the virus was transmitted from camels to humans. So either through eating camels or exposure to camels or drinking camel milk. And as of this video, there are more than 2400 cases of MERS and a recorded 858 deaths with a fatality rate of approximately 34.4%. So very high fatality rate. And the newest one that has come on the scene is the 2019 novel coronavirus and it's designated 2019 NCOV. So this one occurred in December 2019. It probably even earlier than that. We'll talk more about that in the next video lecture. This novel coronavirus first started in Wuhan, a city in the Hawaii province of China. And it is the seventh coronavirus found to cause illness in humans and like SARS and MERS, it is itself a beta coronavirus and it has lots of similarity to SARS, which we'll talk about in the next video as well. So what seems to have taken place here is that right now we are not sure exactly how it was transmitted. There were some early evidence suggesting that it was transmitted from snakes to human. But now some evidence is suggesting it's more likely that it came from bats. So there is an animal market in Wuhan that seemed to have the epicenter for this outbreak. And it has suggested that there were six exposures to live and dead animals. And right now it is suggested that it was bats that was the source of this coronavirus. However, there are some reports and documentary as well suggesting this novel coronavirus is synthetic in nature developed by Wuhan P4 Laboratory headed by Xi Zhengli and has been leaked by them. However, speculations but no proof. 
As of now, there are 18 billion cases of the Wuhan coronavirus, so it actually surpassed SARS and MERS, but the fatality rate is luckily lower than SARS. It is approximately 2 to 3 percent at this point of time. So this is all I wanted to discuss in this first introductory video lecture. These are the references that I have consulted for making this video lecture. So thank you and stay tuned to my channel for the next video. If you like this lecture series, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.